right, here we go. It's episode 680, and we're just going to get straight into this. You know where we are. And you know where we're going. Three, two, one. <laughs> An alliance, which apparently is over, but I think he was fibbing. I don't think it's over. He just didn't want Operation Nuke the Island or whatever that was called. He didn't want that to happen. The toys are pissed. I still can't believe how much of an asshole... <laughs> how much of an asshole that toy girl is. God, she sucks. <laughs> maybe the fact she's perpetually young has got her in a constant bad mood. Or maybe, like, eating only grapes has got her digestive system jacked up. But she's an asshole, man. I'm glad she went out. She was knocked the hell out, too. She had her laid out like this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yep. The least well-kept secret of the last 20 episodes. Once we saw his goggles, right? Yeah, but you don't care. But you're not a pirate. You're a revolutionary. You'll be the king of the revolutionaries. <laughs> Meanwhile, his minions are annoying. Get out of it. Get out of his way and let Luffy fight this son bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got this stone asshole. Your head is off. So shut up until you're back with your body. Birdcage, that's what it was. Yeah, it was an okay movie. Yeah. Was that a wide shot of the island? It wasn't on screen very much without the title, so couldn't really take in what it was. Burn it all. So we're finally seeing the inside of the smile factory. Uh, bend over, kiss your ass, goodbye. Why are you smug? It's almost like a greenhouse. I like, I love the design in there. What happens if a little person eats a devil fruit? I would definitely. <laughs> Then you got the powers to break out, right? Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Kick their asses. He's got the cape power, right? The cape, cape power. I think he could turn anything into a shield or something. Is that what it was? Meanwhile, we got snot guy. Imagine just being perpetually runny and sticky. Even if he allows you to attack people, it'd still suck. Oh, that's right. He, he can turn anything into a new shape and then lock it in place. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah, you small fries ain't good enough for this drama. Damn, that's scum. Stick them. Great. Hate to see it. Oh, I think there's a couple people who can take you down. Keep talking shit. Damn, why is a lion trying to kill the family? There's a husband and wife look like. Were they terrible toy owners? Abusive to the toys? Uh, Dafia, you know when you die, you shit yourself, right? 
So when you when your head gets put back on your body, your pants are full of shit. Just want you to know that. Enjoy that. Chop this body into a million pieces. <laughs> he went straight for the head. He didn't even hesitate, man. <laughs> Everybody's got a different name for him. He was facing the body. How'd that take you by surprise? Good, good job, by the way, Luffy. Was that a fake body dinner? Maybe that's what it was. It was a fake body that got cut up. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. That explains that. I'm not sure what the hell's happening here, but I'm sure it'll be explained. Yeah. I'm sure it has something to do with his string power. Dumbass. I was going to say, he was facing a body. Why didn't he notice the body kick himself? Because it was a second person. That's why. Luffy's about to go full ham on your ass. Punch the F out of this moron. I can't even think of the right insult for Duffy. He's not a moron. He's, that's not right. Dickhead. Punch the F out of this dickhead. Dickhead's a good word. How do you have two bodies? That's so interesting. Jesus. Yikes. That would hurt. You know, the little tiny cuts are sometimes the worst. Right in the kisser. Right in the kisser. Jesus. Every time he hits, he's tearing up the floor. Ha <laughs> ha, Jesus. Well, that's going to give you a headache tomorrow. Well, shit. That's the, the million dollar question, isn't it? He made an entire body out of string, huh? I don't know if I buy it. He's a sadist. I don't know if any of the other villains have been sadists. They did what they had to do, and they may enjoy what they do, but not to this extent, man. That's some brutal shit. Quit replaying it. This was actually traumatic to watch, man. I hated this so much. It's everything. It's what was happening. It was the voiceover, the sound design, the color scheme, all of it, man. It all worked together to just make it absolutely miserable. They really captured what they wanted you to feel. He'd rather break his toys than have anybody else play with them. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even want to kill him. He has such powerful minions. Peak is uh, the most powerful one. This is one hell of a power right here, man. If you had access to a huge stone building... This is the power to have, man. It really is. I don't know that it transports very well. Like if you're on a ship and there's no stone around, there's not much you can do. Stone is heavy, so it wouldn't work on ships very well. You wouldn't be able to bring much with you. But on ground, you know, on land, if you have a couple stone palaces or something, man, this, this power is almost unbeatable. Jesus. 
And a lot of uh, Duffy's power is his minions. Yeah, too late. He's burning it to the ground. Yeah, what an asshole. Nope, he's here to smash his toys. Yeah. <laughs> Fat Luffy's my favorite Luffy. <laughs> so funny looking. The the string double clone is a bridge too far for me. I don't buy it. But whatever, man. You know. I'm just saying, like, I know it's magic. It would never look real enough to pass as a human being, I wouldn't think. You know, it's magic, whatever, right? Like, it just, I have a hard... The show asks a lot from us, and this is something I'm having a hard time accepting. It'd be different if he had a different kind of power, but string? I don't know, man. If he had a clone clone fruit, like, we totally buy it, right? Like, that's not even a problem. String? I don't know. Well, that sucked. Yeah, we're aware of that. We know this. We were there. There he goes. He's doing something horrible. I don't know what uh, Birdcage is, but it's not going to be good. Is he going to bring a meteorite down or something? Oh, that's what the title was over. This, the palace. The overhead shot of the palace, okay. That shot gives you perspective of how much taller the, the palace is than the Colosseum. And the Colosseum is pretty big. Strings for everybody. Nothing good. Things are going to bring them all in. The strings will cut people like ribbons, right? Yep. Under the dome. You're under the dome. Yeah, that don't matter. See, shit like this, I have no problem with. I totally accept it, right? It's well within the scope of his powers. The birdcage. Oh, I see. I assume he's going to tighten the bars. Nobody can stop it. You're screwed. So you can't even get like transmissions through these bars, which would make sense. The hell? <laughs> Which would make sense because um, the the whole point the whole point is you don't want people to be able to call out with information, right? He caught that shit, man. This dude is powerful. He's also a problem. Yep. He's going to make you turn on each other. This side is going to kill people. He's not going to bring the strings closer together. 
He's just going to force them to kill each other. That's right. Obey your orders. Jesus. Right through the neck. God damn. Boy, that's not good. Typically, I say there's no crying in, in piracy, but I agree with this one. <laughs> Look at this son of a bitch. Man, I hate this son of a bitch. Grade A dick. Sadistic, mendacious asshole. You know what? You want to know what the hell's going on? Nothing good. <laughs> the snails are always funny. Always. Is Pika going to march? I think Pika's going to march. He's going to march out like a titan from Attack on Titan, right? Stomp people out. Yeah. He's out of here. Wonder how much Stoney can control. Shit. It's out of here, man. They're going bye bye. Stop, Royal Palace. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. The scale of this. Look, what Crocodile and Alabaster, this is a good this is a parallel storyline, I guess, right? Something like that. That was bad. But this, the scale of this is so much beyond that. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is uh, turned up, cranked up to 11. Damn, he, dude's stomping people out, man. Getting wrecked. <laughs> Flower field. This island is aft. Yeah, everybody's screwed, man. Screwed, blued, and tattooed. Meanwhile, yeah. Hang up. Oh, that was him beginning the transmission. This was always his end game. The lesson here is every king sucks. Can't trust any of these damn kings. I think that's a fair bet. No, but you have a string clone. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, guess who's on the list? Great. One guy's excited. Well, shit. Guess who's on the list? Yeah, he's already ready.
Oh, we're not going to see the list, huh? Well, I think we know. We've got Luffy, of course. Law. King Rico. Violet. Um, Toy Soldier, whatever the hell his real name is. I know they've told this multiple times, but I don't remember. That's about it. Like, I don't think he gives a shit about any of the other straw hats, does he? That's probably the list. Maybe he'll throw a couple other straw hats on there, but you gotta keep it small and tight, right? You know, you want people to focus. <sighs> shit, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna dwell on this. This will be the last time I mention it. I don't like String Clone. I just don't think it fits with... You, you can say any powers. You can, you can say Luffy can make a rubber clone, man. I mean, you know, he can take a rubber... Because he can stress so big, he can clearly make a duplicate himself, cut it off, and then he's got a rubber clone that can move around. That doesn't really fit with the powers. Puppets fit with the power, with string powers, of course. And if they had said that it was some kind of like duplicate made with somebody else's fruit power... And he was puppeting it with strings? Okay, I could buy that. Made out of string is just a bridge too far for me. I, I don't like it. I don't accept it. I think it's forced, you know, to, so they could have the big head cut off moment. Why not just have him put his head back on his body with strings, man? Like, I, I would buy I would have bought that. He's powerful. You think a clone made out of strings is better than that? Maybe, maybe it is. Like, you know, it is a big ass to ask somebody to put his head back on. But I, like, it's weird. I have less of a problem with that. If he had just put his head back on with strings. You know, you could say the strings were still connecting the head, so he, he was never truly out of touch with his body. You could hand wave it. They went this way. I can kind of see, you know, I, I like I said, I can kind of see it. But... I don't like it. Not a big deal. But, you know, that's where I'm at with it. But, like I said, that'll be the last time I bring it up. Right now, I'm much more interested. The two, the, the biggest problems are Dolphy by himself is very powerful. Hard to beat. Pika's very powerful, hard to beat. The other two guys, uh, Snot Boy and um, Cape Guy, I guess I'll call him. They can be beaten. I'm not too worried, too too worried about those. They can be beaten. Even Zoro with his magic sword attacks can probably beat him. You know, beat him. But Pika and Daffy are major, major problems. 